I started the year with some great expectations of losing weight, drinking less, eating less bad food. And here I am today drinking a pint can of craft beer along with these strong crisps, which says great with beer. So why not? But what are these two gonna taste like? Check out the review to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're gonna to be drinking this beer. This is an Arbor Ales and this is a massive Anzac. It is a New England Pale Ale coming in at 5.4%. And again, it's in this great big 568 one pint can. So New England Pale Ale, I'm looking forward to that. And then I thought, well, you know, let's get some snacks. I saw these in my local Aldi. These are called Strong Crisps, and they're great with beer. It says so, great with beer. So, jalap jalapeno, 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 and cheese. <sighs> Extra hot. They're gonna be spicy, so let's see how spicy they're gonna be. Let's first get this massive can of beer into this pint glass and see what it's all about. We had uh, zero, zero, so I hope you saw the review for that, and that was a pretty damn good you know, session New England IPA, but this is a New England, but um, a parallel. This one, again, amazing price, £3.60 for a pint of craft beer. I mean, that's that's credible value. Obviously, we hope that it's gonna taste good. Um, obviously, I've wasted some by doing a, an idiot pour. So we've got that three fingers of head there. We've got a yellowy, straw-colored, hazy as you like beer. Looks very New England-esque. Um, almost looks like a, you know, with that, the head's pretty tightly compacted. It almost looks more like a, a New England IPA than a parallel. Um, but let's see what the aromas are like. Yeah, I'm getting, uh, they're not overly strong. It might be because I'm trying to sniff it through its, through the huge head that I've poured, but pineapples, grapefruits, mangoes. You know, there's no denying this smells like a New England style of beer. Yeah, it's got the sort of pineapple, mango and, and grapefruit and then and zesty citrus uh, aromas in there as well. Not the most strongest smelling, but still smells pretty good. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. That is a real solid beer. Lovely and soft, really, really soft. Low levels of carbonation. It just, it almost, it doesn't taste like a sort of, it's not, you know, we've had some, I've had pale hours before that almost take like, taste like a fruity lager in terms of the body. Very highly carbonated, quite thin. This to me, That is a solid, solid beer. It's so soft. I mean, the the oh, it's got it's got an incredible mouthfeel, especially for a parallel. I think that this is the beer that you want to have in your fridge. If you like New England style pales, it's probably one of the best New England style parallels that I have had. It's it's got lots of flavour, pineapple citrus grapefruit but there's no bitterness at all and there's nothing that really no, nothing jumps out you know you've got those flavors you take you drink it and you think yeah this tastes like a new england style beer and it doesn't let you down the star is the the mouthfeel i mean look at it. it just even now you can see how not necessarily thick it is because it tastes quite light but at the same time it's soft, really, really soft. That's the big characteristic of it. It's a lovely, lovely flavour. A Zaka, Citra and El Dorado hops. Again, you know, we've had those hops in various different different beers before, but it's not the most common sort of mixture, a Zaka and El Dorado with Citra. I think that's a real great combination. I'm almost going to sort of make a point of that because I think you get some really nice flavours there citrus is citrus all over it 
then there's bits of pockets of pineapple coming in, then pockets of grapefruit. But there's nothing, there's nothing sort of like, oh, a big fruit burst at the front and then a, a sort of bitterness on the back end. There's none of that at all. The flavour just sort of comes what comes in like waves, really, of pineapples and citrus fruit, citrus, lemons and limes, a little bit of orange, a little bit of passion fruit, bit of man mango in there as well. But nothing overstays its welcome, really. It's just it's all in there. It just is wrapped up in this soft, soft, pillowy uh, mouthfeel, which I don't think I've had a beer that is as soft as this in my life you know we've had some fantastically soft nice mouthfeel beers but this is this is great and i just wasn't really expecting it not from a, a new england pale opposed to an, an ipa and look at this I'm, i've drank a few and i've got still got quite a bit in there and then i pick up the can and think oh my god there's still more beer in there this is brilliant i i, I I can't stress enough how great it is to have a pint can of beer. And when that pint can of beer is really, really good, you just think, oh, I'm getting great value for money. And then you think, £3.60. I mean, it's, the price is on there, £3.60. That is incredible value for money. Imagine if you could get this beer in a supermarket in a four pack. Oh, it'd be brilliant. So this is a brilliant beer and I'm becoming a massive fan of our brows. I've got one more. There's more that I want to try that I haven't got, but this is a really good beer. Okay, before we do the scores, let's open this packet of, uh, uh, of crisps and see what this is all about. So first things first, aroma. It smells spicy, that's what it smells like. Crisp, it smells like crisp, so I'm not getting loads. But there's the beer, there's the beer, there's the crisp. You can see it's coated in, in, the, in the stuff there. Let's see what it tastes like. That is spicy. So when you first bite into it, you can feel the heat already, but you get this cheesy flavour. And then as that cheese flavour sort of, you get used to that, you get this warmth that's coming in. And I've had one crisp, and oh, it's spicy, but moorish, really moorish. Let's have another one. Let's have a few actually. They've always got a real cream cheese like flavour. And that can sort of like think, oh, they're like creamy, a bit like a sour, you know, cream cheese and chive sort of crisps. You get that flavour, and then as it sits in your mouth, this warmth rises up, and your tongue's a little bit on fire. In the fact that I need to have a drink now. They're very strong in the flavour, like a sort of a McCoy's, you know, that real strong flavour. They're spicy, but I have had a lot spicier crisps than this. Pretty damn good though, great with beer. So, strong crisps. These are, I think, 79p for a big bag of crisps. I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna look on how many calories they, they've got because I could probably see off this bag with this beer because I've got a big pint of beer to drink it with. Really, really good. If you see these, yeah, the Snack Right, so that's a brand that you see in Audi by individual small crisps with Snack Right. But these are brand new, so strong crisps. I suppose they're, they're supposed to, but they're like the sort of uh, McCoys, aren't they? The Max flavor or whatever. This is jalapeno and cheese. I've also got a chicken uh, chicken wings flavor as well, which is also spicy. So I'll do I'll, I'll open those on a on another beer review. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll when I do the other um, Arbor I've got, I'll open those as well. But pretty good, recommend it. But well, let's get some scores for this beer, because it's a good one. Okay, the scores are in for this massive can of massive Anzac. It's a New England Pale Ale coming in at 5.4%. Just that sweet spot for Pale Ales, I think. In a big wine, one pint can. This is the best before the 1st of the 9th, 21. I like the fact that it's easy to see that it's printed on there. This has got Zaka, Citra and El Dorado hops. And it is a really good beer. Before I do the scores, I'm going to say now it's a recommended beer. If you see this beer, 
I mean, especially a £3.60, it's definitely worth buying because it's a really good beer. But let's go through the scores. First things first, aroma. Well, there's certainly there's that sort of New England aroma. You've got the pineapples and grapefruit. You've got a bit of mango in there. You've got citrus fruits in there. It all smells very nice. It's not the most overly pungent of, uh, of beers that I've ever drank, but it is a parallel, and there's a lot more aroma to this parallel than a lot of others. So I'm giving it 12 for aroma. Um, appearance, well, it's a lovely looking straw color beer. The head was, you know, was quite, you know, there's a lovely le level of coat uh, of the lacing of the glass there. You've got a little bit of head, but it's a beautiful looking straw colored, almost custody for a part, and it's, it's a lot thicker both in the colour and the haze and a lot of parallel. So I'm giving it a nine out of 10 for appearance, flavour wise. Well, the flavour is very, as you would expect from a New England uh, parallel. So you've got pineapples, you've got grapefruits, you've got citrus fruits, you've got a little bit of subtleness of stone fruits. It's not a big stone fruit flavour, which is good. So you've got mangoes in there. You've got a little bit of apricot in there, but it's just very fresh and zesty and citrusy. And there's nothing that overpowers it. It just makes it really easy drinking. But the star of it is the fact that it's got the softest mouthfeel that I can, that, that I can remember from a beer. Um, and for a palau, that's not the most common thing, you know. Some palaos can be a little bit overly carbonated. The carbonation is soft, the body is soft. It's just a light to medium body, but it's still very, very soft. It's a lovely beer, and it's a, a really, it's one of the best New England pales that I've tasted. Um, so I'm giving it a 36 for flavour. Value for money, well, you know, it's one whole pint of beer for £3.60. I've got to give this. 10 out of 10 for value so 10 out of 10 and then overall experience well i'm loving this beer i've got a whole pint of it to drink so i can really savor it but what i like about this beer and is is we don't get this with all the beers that we have is that sometimes they can be really strong tasting and you drink that and you think yeah i, I couldn't drink another one but with this you've got nice really fruity and aromatic flavours, but at the same time, nothing over dominates, so it makes it very easy to drink. You could drink three or four of these. Yes, you'll probably be like on the floor after three or four of these because you're drinking pint cans, but it's really, really tasty. I'm giving it 17 for overall experience because it's a sort of beer that I want to buy again. It's the sort of beer that I wish was in the supermarkets. It's the cracking beer, and it's one of the best parallels I had for a, for a while. Certainly a New England parallel. So 17 for overall, totting those scores up. It seems like a while, but this beer is an 84. It's an Iron Maiden, heaviest of heavy metal, even though it's very soft rock in terms of its mouthfeel, but it's a lovely beer and it's a highly recommended beer. I would recommend if you see this on the shelves, if you see this in a bottle shop, you'll look at it and go, oh, it's three pounds 60, could be even less than that. Oh, is it not going to be that good for that money? It's a really good beer and it's worth seeking out. It makes me want to seek out more Arbor Ales. I've got another one. Uh, I've got a Meg's Bomb, which is something a bit different, um, which I'm really looking forward to. And also um, there's other beers that I want to try. Space Hardware, it's a New England IPA. It's one I want to try. Uh, there's a Pudding IPA. It's another one I want to try. Um, that's called... Uh, Fates Alaska. So there's lots of beers by Arba and they do quite a lot of beers and obviously all their beers are pint cans which is great. So 84, highly recommended but I'd also recommend these chips as well. These are strong crisps, great with beer. These are jalapeno and cheese, really nice and they're only 79p as well. It feels like this whole video has been a, a bargain basement of great beer and crisps you know. No wonder we're unhealthy. No wonder we're getting fatter as a, as a nation because they're making beer that's cheap, that tastes great. They're making crisps that are really calorific and taste great. What hope is there? Let me know in the comments what you think of Arbor Ales, if you've ever tried them before. Let me know what's your favourite beer snack. 
There's lots of beer snacks. I want to do more beer snacks. I love beer snacks, you know. Maybe we should do a face-off of beer snacks. Let me know your favourite one and which one I should try in the comments below. And until the next one, keep on rocking.